We've seen how we can use the props mounting option. I'd like to show you one other very common mounting option now, and that is the data mounting option. What we're going to do is change our component to instead of using props to use data. So I'm going to jump up here and delete this one and change it to be data. That's going to be a function that returns an object. And this is going to have a count of zero by default. And if I save this off, I'm going to get a number of errors and warnings. The reason I'm getting these warnings is because we're passing a prop. You can see we're passing the props here, but I'm not actually expecting those props in this component. So view is giving us a warning. Let's go ahead and update our tests to reflect the new state of the app, which is using data instead of props. What I'm going to do is change this in here. We're now going to have data, which is going to be a function and it has to return an object as we know. And we're just going to jump in here and return a count of two. Let's go ahead now and update our factory function. I'm going to change this to destructure the object I pass in, which is going to be data. And then we're just going to return data in here. Let's save it off and see what happens. We now have one of our tests passing and one of our tests failing. If you have a number of tests, what you can actually do is use exit. And this is going to not run this test and skip it. And you can see now just one of those tests is running. I'm going to remove that now and we're going to work on our second test. And I'm going to copy this one over just to save a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and make the count one instead of two here. And if we save this off, everything is now passing. We can make this a little bit more concise if we'd like to. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. Instead of using this function here, what I could do is change this to be an object and just return the data I'd like here. Now we have to go ahead and update our factory function. And we're seeing some of the advantages of the factory function already. It's making us let our making our code a little bit more concise. So what I'm going to do is change this here. It's going to be a function and that is just going to return whatever I pass in, in this case, data. Let's go ahead now and only run that first test and save it off and see what happens. And everything is still passing. Finally, I'm going to update my second test by removing this and just changing it to be data, which is going to be an object. And we can see the real advantage here of having that refactored function. It's making everything a whole lot more concise. And this is definitely an improvement, at least in my opinion.